So Peter, thanks very much for sitting down with IB Times UK. If you could go into a bit about yourself, your background, and why ultimately you want to be the next Mayor of London. For most of my life, I've worked and lived in London. I was educated in London. And uh, I know it sounds maybe a little bit um, pretentious to say it, but it's sort of part of my character. You know, it, 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 being a Londoner almost sort of defines part of you, I think. So I think that, you know, whether it comes to the London mayoral election or indeed any other election, uh, the issue of immigration is the one that seems to concern most people. Uh, I think it's probably the number one issue now, and so you, you have to talk about it. Um, <clears throat> otherwise, basically, it, you're not being democratic, actually. Um, I think that there is this perception, or it's often been put around, that uh, you know, London isn't UKIP and UKIP isn't London, and it couldn't be further from the truth, actually. Uh, in terms of votes, we're third party now. The last general election, we were on about 9%. And this time around, I think uh, the, the last poll that came out last week had us on around 13%. So we are, without question, uh, the third party now in terms of votes. Of course, when it comes to things like immigration, uh, there's no question we cannot uh, control our borders while we are in the European Union. And this is where, if you like, there is a crossover between campaigns. It's simply impossible. Um, David Cameron isn't even trying to change that. It's not even on the agenda. And I think that that is something where the mayor, as well, can be uh, extremely important in galvanising opinion. You know, he can lobby as well. So a big issue, uh, Peter, in London is housing. What is UKIP going to offer differently? Well, I think the thing is with housing is that uh, there is this perception that London is a huge success story, and of course it's incredibly successful economically, but that the country is the place where there are problems. Well, the, the fact is, is that London has those problems really hugely, indeed more so than the rest of the country. And on top of that list is housing. Um, and I think that there are simply too many people chasing too few houses at the moment, it's as simple as that. Uh, you can't really just talk about, as it were, supply without talking about demand. So people say we're going to build 40,000 new homes, 60,000 new homes, and what have you. These figures are sort of plucked out of the air in a way. Uh, because the fact is you have got to, uh, in some way, know how many people that you're going to be planning for. And at the moment, we have absolutely no way of doing that. And of course, that does, to a great extent, come down uh, to immigration. Uh, you have to know how many people are coming into your city uh, as well as the country. Uh, how can you possibly plan without that? Uh, we want as well to look at brownfield sites. So there is still not um, a registry of all the brownfield sites that are available in London and that's one of our top priorities. In fact we should incentivize people to build on brownfield sites. I live on one myself. I live in the uh, Royal Arsenal development at Woolwich. And this is something which uh, still has not been adequately and, more and rigorously registered, and I think it has to be. So if you could pick one quality, what would it be compared to the rest of the candidates, and how would that make you different in the campaign to become the next Mayor of London? Um, I think that people really do know uh, where we're coming from in UKIP, and they do know that we uh, believe what we say and that we say what we mean, and I don't think they feel that about the other candidates. Um, and I think they're quite right not to feel that about the other candidates. Um, the question really <clears throat> is that when we're campaigning, um, we have to make sure that people hear, uh, new people hear our message. Um, I'm, as I say, very, very optimistic about that. But we do have a very strong uh, brand, to use that uh, terrible word, and I think that that is something that I will be offering, uh, and that is something which I think is a real strength uh, that the other candidates simply don't have.